So I eat a lot of salads because it not only heals my body, but it also gives me good energy. So I'm always looking for different ways to make my salad hearty so that it's filling. Otherwise, I might go hungry and binge on other things. So in my local supermarket, in the bulk section, there's this large container of quinoa, which really inspired me to make my quinoa salad. So I'm gonna make my quinoa salad with beets, arugula, spinach, carrot, and cashew nuts in a refreshing garlic lemon vinaigrette. And I'm telling you, I could not stop eating the salad. So I don't like to eat a lot of bread, so if I eat a grain, I'll go for rice first. And next to rice, my second favorite grain is really quinoa. And you know, quinoa is really light but hearty. So this is what is gonna make the salad nice and filling. So the secret to making perfectly cooked quinoa is the ratio of quinoa to water. So for every one cup of quinoa, you wanna add about 0.8 cups of water, a little bit less than one cup. So on this scale, it's somewhere kind of above three quarters, but less than one cup. So because I'm going to make two cups of quinoa, I'm going to add 3.75 cups of water. And I'm gonna boil the water first because it makes the quinoa taste better. So boil the water first. So the water is now boiling. I'm gonna add the quinoa right in there. Give it a quick stir. And then you're gonna reduce the flame to low. And simmer cook the quinoa for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, turn off the flame and then let the quinoa sit in the pot for at least 10 minutes and it's gonna become nice and fluffy. So what's gonna make this quinoa salad so special are beets and I'm going to use fresh beets and roast them. Now, if you don't wanna roast the beets because it takes too long, then just use some jarred beets. You know, they sell that in a lot of supermarkets now because I place beets in my salad a lot. So what we're gonna do with our beets is just cut off the stem and leaves. Oops. And then give it a quick rinse. So we've washed out all of the dirt from the beets and then I'm gonna take my foil and wrap each beet for roasting. And then preheat your oven to about 400 degrees, and then you're gonna cook the beets for about 45 to 50 minutes. So this is the rest of the ingredients to really make my salad delicious. I have a carrot for that nice crunchy texture and a little bit of a sweetness. And then I have some spinach and baby arugula. You know, I love this combination. I also add this to my vegetable omelet. There's something about spinach and arugula that goes so well together. But if you just like arugula, just add that. If you just like spinach, then just add that. Add whatever you like. And then I'm going to make my salad even more hearty by adding some unsalted roasted cashew nuts. Now you could add raw cashew nuts, and raw is more healthier, but I like the flavor of the roasted cashew nuts and get the unsalted kind because we're gonna season it with that lemon garlic vinaigrette. So I've already peeled and washed the carrot, so I'm gonna slice it to shred it into thin pieces. So beautiful shredded pieces like this. 
So I'm gonna finish shredding the rest of the carrot. So I've taken the beets out of the hot oven and the way to know that the beets are done is take a knife and just put it right through. And if it goes in really easily, that means it's done. So this looks like it's done. And I'm gonna release it from the foil. Ooh, it's nice and hot. Look how hot it is. Woo! And so once it cools down, we're gonna peel and slice it. So the beets have cooled down, and now it's easy for me to peel it with my hands. And the skin comes off so easily like this after you roast it. And roasted beets are so delicious. You can't compare it to really canned or bottled beets. And then we'll just go ahead and slice the beets into smaller pieces. So I'm gonna pair my salad with my refreshing lemon garlic vinaigrette. So we're gonna start with some rice vinegar and you want three tablespoons of that. And then I have here extra virgin olive oil. Make sure you always use extra virgin because it's the first cold press. It's the healthiest and tastiest. And I've got three tablespoons of that. And then I'm gonna sweeten it a little bit to balance out the vinegar with a little bit of raw agave syrup. Now this agave comes from the agave plant. So for those of you who are vegan, this is a good option. But you can also use honey or you could use sugar if you like. And I've got one and a half tablespoons of agave. And then I'm going to punch it up with my garlic, right? So I've got two cloves of garlic. And then I'm gonna squeeze the juice of two lemons. And this is what is gonna make the dressing really refreshing. And then I'm gonna season it with one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of pepper. So I'm gonna put the dressing all together. I'm gonna mince the garlic first. Give it a nice bang. It makes the skin come off so easily. to my bowl. Then I'm gonna slice the lemon to squeeze out the lemon juice. We'll add that right in there. And you could use your hand as like a sieve because I just saw that a couple of seeds dropped in there. I'll add the olive oil, rice vinegar, the agave honey or syrup, salt, and pepper. And we'll just stir it up. Mix it all together until it's well integrated. So the dressing is ready to pair with the salad. So the quinoa is perfectly cooked. It's light and fluffy. Look at it, see? So I'm gonna add some of that quinoa into my large bowl. And I made a lot of quinoa because I wanted some leftover for leftover quinoa food later. So I'm not gonna use all of it. But you can use two cups of the quinoa if you like, if you're feeding more people. I'm using about one and a half cups of that quinoa that I cooked. The rest I'll save for later. And then I'm just gonna add everything into the quinoa. So I'll add some of that delicious spinach and arugula. 
leaves. Like I said, spinach and arugula really go well together. The beets. And I'm gonna use all of the beets because I love beets. Carrot for that nice, sweet, crunchy texture. Cashew nuts. I'm gonna use about one and a half to two cups of cashew nuts. That's about one and a half cups of cashew nuts. And then we'll add that delicious lemon garlic dressing right in there. And then I'll take my tong and give it a nice toss. I can smell a little bit of that lemon and garlic from the vinaigrette. It smells so good in here. And it's looking really good. It is really light, refreshing, yet hearty. I'm telling you, you're not gonna starve from this salad. So try it at home, make it for your family and friends, and let me know how you like it. Leave a comment below. And if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I would so appreciate your donating to my fan funding because I use so much of my time, energy, and resources to create these videos for you. And if you want to view all of my holistic living tips, just go to my website at yinandyangliving.com. Kumapsimida.